Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and this is the video that I guess many of you are waiting for. This is the review of the AMD Ryzen 3 3300X and the 3100. Without further ado, let's have a look at the benchmarks. In Blender, we see that the 3100 and the 3300X sandwiches the 3500X in performance, meaning the 4 cores 8 threads processor may be able to outperform the 6 cores 6 thread processor if given higher clocks. May be able because in software like DaVinci Resolve, the 6 core 6 thread 3500X still outperforms the 4 core 8 thread 3300X that has higher clocks. Up next is the gaming benchmarks. Starting with Metro Exodus, we see that this game is so demanding that all of them perform the same. It's from the next test onwards where we'll see the difference. I'm not going even to talk about all of them in detail as they all carry the same message. These Ryzen 3 processors are not strong enough to push the RX 5700 XT GPU. In every title, you'll see that the performance gap between the 3100 and the 3700X is significant. Based on the 9 game benchmarks, I've tabulated the percentage drop in performance and the 3100 held back the performance of the RX 5700 XT GPU by almost 30% and this is clearly due to the lower clock speed. The 3300X on the other hand is consistently about 10% faster in clock speed alone and in games it held back the RX 5700 XT by only about 12% which is pretty good. I wasn't provided the stock cooler for these two units so I went ahead with the Wraith Prism and the 3300X during Blender test shows all cores hovering at around 4.2 GHz range with slightly above 1.3 V-core and temperature at around 75 degrees Celsius. The 3100 on the other hand had all cores at around 3.9 GHz and the voltage around 1.2 V-core and the temperature hovers around 70 degrees Celsius. Alright, so we are done with the benchmarks. As you can see, these two are great processors but both of them are not that strong when it comes to pushing the frame rates out of the RX 5700 XT based graphics card. So my take is that the 3300X is more suited to pair with a 5600 XT while the 3100 is more suited to pair with a 5500 XT. That being said, I'm giving the 3300X a gold badge while the 3100 a silver badge. The price is very close but the 3300X gives a lot better performance thus getting the gold badge. I'm signing off now but do stay on if you like to see the side by side comparison between these two processors as I have done the recording and it is coming up after this. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.
Radiance bottom tower 